wait a minute. I see there's uh, people coming in already. Yes, or, uh, you can start now. Yeah. Thank you. Might be something already. Yeah, we are ready to go. Hello, everyone, and welcome to our webinar at Scolera. Um, as we promised you before, uh, at Scolera, we are not always talking only about our learning platform, but we also want to get to what is very important to you in education as a whole. So today we have a very important topic, and it's actually very enlightening as well, because um, we got a lot of questions about it in the last period. A lot of uh, schools started to ask us how to help them through their accreditation. So American schools, of course, you know, they are taking their accreditation from Cognia, and today it's our honor and our pleasure to have Dr. Teresa Ato with us. She's the Vice President of Global Education Services at Cognia. Thank you, Dr. Teresa, for joining us. It's a, it's a pleasure. Um, we'll also be happy to talk and to give you a case study um, for one of the most amazing schools I've worked with, honestly, and I have to say, I say it every time, but I have to say it again. They are our first school and it will, it will always be with us. I know we love them so much. We've been with them for years now. So they are like family. Mrs. Rasha and Mr. Karim, they are giving us the pleasure to talk to us today about their um, process and how they passed the accreditation process at Son of Glory and how did they use um, Scolera. Of course, they will talk about it in different ways, also giving you a lot of information that would be very helpful for you when you apply for uh, Cognia accreditation. And finally, uh, Mr. Wael, who is uh, my co-founder and the chief product officer and one of the best people to work with, honestly. Um, he's going to give us some um, insights into the data analysis that we do at Scolera and the different reports, the different archiving method, the different provision, uh, sorry, uh, monitoring and supervision that you can do at Scolera to help you pass the accreditation process. So uh, if you have your coffee ready, just uh, prepare yourself for an amazing session today. And um, as you see now, this is, this is what we've, uh, I've been talking about. This is exactly the learning outcomes, as we say them, that you will take away from this webinar. And um, just don't uh, take notes. Everything will be recorded and we'll be sending it to your emails within 24 hours. So just enjoy the session. And if you have any questions at any, any time, please share them in the Q&A box at the, down, um, the, the right side. And finally, if you want to know more about any of us here, so Cognia, Scolera, Son of Glory, we will have our pages and we will write them in the chat box as well for you to easily um, keep track of it. So that's all for me. Uh, I'd love to ask Dr. Teresa to start her session and enjoy your time. Okay, so if I could just get the screen. Sure. You can go ahead. Oh, hold on. Just get the screen. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me, we just had it up here. Okay, here we go. Why is it not sharing now? Oh my. Give me one second, share screen. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so there, you can see my screen now? Yes. Yep. Okay, great. So I'm, I'm really excited to be here today and I thank Scalera for inviting me. Um, they had actually asked me to, if I was able to do some, to speak my presentation in Arabic and so, while I so, so that everything's clear for everyone, I'm going to do this in English, but be careful. <laughs> okay, so Cognia Accreditation School for Schools, Tips and Tricks. The title in this presentation, um, I'll share with you some information and history about Cognia. And as for the tricks, the only trick really is that you should be ready and transparent and committed. 
And um, Son of Glory, who will actually be talking later, was one of our schools that was accredited. So while Cognia does not insist that you use Scalera, Son of Glory, Miss Rasha Musa is gonna share how she used Scalera to collect data and use this as part of her accreditation experience. And she'll talk later after me. So Cognia, who are we? Cognia is a nonprofit improvement organization that has knowledge to help schools improve outcomes for all learners. And we really believe that knowledge is opportunity. This is our vision. Our vision is to impact and inspire education providers to advance and enable pathways for success for all learners. And our mission is to serve as a trusted partner in advancing learning. Let me share a little bit of history with you about Cognia. Since 1985, with the founding of two accrediting organizations, we've built upon our enduring foundation of continuous improvement. In 1983, a new vision for assessment was formed, was formed via Advanced Ed Systems, which would later become Measured Progress. Advanced Ed brought together three regional accreditation commissions in 1996, if you look up here, NCA, CASI, Sachs CASI, and NSSE became Advanced Ed. Measured Progress continued to innovate assessment solutions to provide a holistic picture of student growth and learning. So in 2018, we brought the two organizations together to support schools all across aspects of teaching and learning, assessment, and organizational capacity. And in 2019, we officially became Cognia. So that's it for our history lesson. <laughs> Though, though the name has changed, the foundation of the work that we've been doing for the last 125 years remains. We're, we're in 36,000 schools and districts in over 25 countries, serving over 5 million educators and 25 million students. We are the largest education improvement organization in the world. So pathways of support. We continue to support institutions with four main pillars of support, accreditation and certification assessment services and professional learning. Accreditation and certification. Our approach to accreditation and certification combines hours of classroom observations, days of analysis and months of evidence gathering into one powerful vision for improvement Cognia offers accreditation for K to 12, early learning, STEM accreditation, and there's actually more. Um, as far as assessment, we design assessment solutions to demonstrate growth and achievement in ways that meet your needs. From classroom instructional resources to standardized testing programs, Cognia assessment supports effective decision-making to benefit your students. And our current offerings include both formative and summative assessment. Improvement services, we bring our expertise, our best practices and ideas to meet your improvement needs. We offer targeted and, com and comprehensive improvement support services and even diagnostic review service. Customized services give members information on how to better use data assessment classroom observation and calibration and data coaching. We offer research-based training that enhances educator uh, practices and student learning through online and in-person, in, including non in, in COVID times. And these courses and workshops are for teachers and administrators to support them and to help them gain leadership and knowledge and implement changes. This year marks the 125th anniversary of our accreditation services. So let's talk about what continuous improvement is. If you start at the bottom left, you know, look at the dial, 
The dial is turned to the left, and of all the work and resources that Cognia provides, as well as the trusted partnerships we, we build to help, turn the dial up from working with inner reach, research-based framework and improvement process to identify areas for professional learning and improvement. Beyond professional learning, we provide a holistic look at quality of schools through external evaluation of, of school quality. One example is through our accreditation and engagement reviews as part of the accreditation process. So this is an opportunity for schools and systems to get meaningful feedback with a team of intensely trained volunteers who know your region and your challenges and work with you and your stakeholders. The same process is used for our certification programs in STEM and early learning and diagnostic review service as well. We can help schools identify the root causes of their struggles and what the next improvement steps might be. Cognia members have access to a constant pipeline of new and updated tools, resources, support services through our web platform. Tools like Cognia surveys and the Elliott to be able to see and collect on student engagement, school environments, et cetera. School quality factors diagnostics helps, to, helps your school leaders to assess and to discuss and to self-reflect on their efforts to serve all their stakeholders Leaders can synthesize, they can analyze and, to, and help understand what's happening at their school. And, and of course, our array of support is for teachers and learners as well, and learners and leaders as well. As far as professional development services, we have a vast array of professional learning opportunities that support institutions, improvement planning efforts and strategic planning. So what do we look for at Cognia? So what are those, what are the teams that come to your school looking for inside the classrooms? One, we look at the Elliott and we use the, we, we use the Elliott tool. The Elliott tool is for student engagement. And we look at that in terms of there are 28 items and seven learning environments. This instrument was developed based on Marzano, Danielson, and class in 2012. Take a look at digital learning. This is more than just students using a tablet or a computer. This goes past the basic, the basics of gathering, communication, and including collaborating together. If you look at well-managed learning environment, here we're looking at student engagement, time management, class expectations, and a positive work environment. Supportive learning. We're looking at the physical, the intellectual, and emotional learning, respectful, constructive, and, and goals. Progress monitoring feedback. This is scientifically based. It's a scientifically based practice used to assess students' academic performance and evaluate effectiveness of instruction. So students are reflecting on their learning practice. Students are using rubrics, they're collaborating, and they're discussing. High expectations. How students know what is expected of them, the learning targets, the rubrics, the questioning. Equitable learning. Each individual's needs must be met, or, or we're looking at their being met. Pro progressing on their own level or their own rate. So we're looking at their valued uniqueness, their interest, their knowledge, and including their understanding. And then active learning, moving and talking, solving problems, analyzing, synthesizing, evaluating, self-reflection, not just sitting there while the teacher talks, actual in interaction with each other and the teacher. So let's focus a little more on engagement. Engagement is a key attribute of effective learning environments. It does not begin at the start of the lesson. School, school leaders and teachers must be engaged to ensure student engagement. We have to start with conducting observations, seeing what actually happens in the classroom with engagement. Allowing teachers time to discuss this data 
you know, in my experience, I've worked with several schools that have teachers who use Elliot to actually do peer observations. They're, they're going in and evaluating their peers, but they're not actually looking at what their peers are doing. They're going in and seeing how are the students engaged in those different classrooms. And this can bring forth powerful conversations around engagement. But by observing and having a dialogue around observations, then the leaders and the teachers gain a better picture around what it will actually take to increase student engagement in individual institutions. Yes, we have the overarching data, but each instit in each institution will be slightly different and it will be essential to look at your own individual data. Finally, when we've allowed teachers to invest in and out of the classroom, we will, ha we will have empowered teachers and learners to improve their own learning environment and then you see increased engagement for students and teachers. So now let's take a look at this. <clears throat> this is the teacher's perceptions and students' perceptions of what they do. And this is some of the data that we've collected at Cognia. This data actually represents a middle school and teacher's perceptions at that school. So take a look at the red, the teacher's perceptions and the students' perceptions. Listening to the teacher, the student, students feel that they're always listening to the teacher. Gray, memorize. Students, teachers say, oh no, students are not memorizing, but students feel that they are memorizing. And the blue data, teachers don't feel that the students are looking and using worksheets all the time. But if you look at this, students actually feel, yeah, we're always getting worksheets. So this is something important that you should all think about. Cogni Let's talk about Cognia Solutions for a little bit. Educator, we are educators and we're passionate about providing opportunities for all students to thrive. As educators ourselves, we share that passion. I share that passion. That's why we connect professionals around the world in a community that learns and grows and improves together. This, at Cognia, we believe in enhancing leadership providing professional practice and learning with proven solutions and support that accelerate your results as an institution. So Cognia will partner with you every step of the way as you choose your pathway to transformation with Cognia and expand your expertise through sessions on leadership, assessment, continuous improvement, STEM, and even more. I'm gonna talk a little bit about our Cognia assessments as I mentioned earlier. So with a focus on working with learners as they progress, rather than us on assessment as something that happens to learners, our flexibility for supporting learners draws from the concept of a well-integrated and balanced system. A strong balanced system increases learner and teacher agency and ownership. It can connect academic achievement to learner engagement and to school quality. In addition to our existing large scale summative assessments, Cognia also offers formative and interim assessments. That helps round out in offering a balanced assessment system. Used together, they provide a consistent approach throughout the year, familiarizing them with items and um, rigor that will encounter, that they'll encounter um, in their standardized exams, as well as other large scale assessments. Let's talk a little bit about some key facts of formative assessments. Formative assessments is an outgoing process that involves teacher and student interaction. Not the test. It's an important, it's important to note that formative assessment is not a test. Formative assessment is part of a planned instructional process used to check understanding. Whether it's low st stakes or with no point value, this keeps the stress level low and increases engagement in the process and enables students to track their own growth. Embedded frequently and thoughtfully into the instruction. Formative assessment 
should be conducted on a regular basis and will be part of the learning process. Students and teachers need to know where they are with their learning and how to fill those gaps. So this allows for making nimble, you know, small adjustments to instruction, keeping the focus on instruction and improving teacher practice. So with Cognia Assessment Solution, we try, we empower educators to engage their students in a formative assessment process, a practice that is part of their institution. And this is for uh, a high quality, high, it's, we, we have a high quality library of student item sets, resources aligned to college career readiness standards, uh, covers mathematics, reading, STEM, and this is currently for grades three to eight. Cognia assessments content is aligned widely to college and career readiness standards, such as common core standards. This means the framework and standards are consistent with those taught in the classrooms around the United States and around the whole world, wherever you are. So these programs integrate seamlessly with ongoing instruction and large scale year end assessments in systems, in states, in uh, single institutions with similar standards. So now we'll move on to talking about accreditation and certification. So when a school or system seeks accreditation with Cognia, what are they looking for? They're looking to showcase their programs and to gain recognition for their school as a quality school. And it goes beyond accountability at different levels. With Cognia standards, based protocols and holistic approach to accreditation and certification, your school and your students are empowered to succeed. And you receive feedback by expert third party evaluation. So based on rigorous research, research-based standards and best practices, Cognia accreditation and STEM certification is offered for early learning programs as well as K K to 12 accreditation and STEM certification to help you meet high standards and publicly display your schools, your institutions dedication to excellence. So this is actually a quote from Mark Elgard, our CEO. And he says, continuous improvement is an embedded behavior within the culture of a school that constantly focuses on the conditions, the processes, and the practices that will improve teaching and learning. Student engagement has to be part of your continuous improvement journey, and it has to be embedded piece in your school culture so that you can drive your processes and your practices, and this will improve teaching and learning for all. Here's a picture of our standards includes learning, le leadership learning and resource capacities. There's 30 standards as well as international assurances. So if you're, if you're already accredited by Cognia, you know my journey, our, our Cognia improvement platform. And if you're interested in more information, I'll share some information at the end and you can always contact us for more support with Elliott surveys, diagnostics, strategies, workspace assessments, whatever you need, we're there to support you. So a quick overview of what the process looks like. It's really simple. You fill out an application. Once you fill out the application and you, we move on to the candidacy pro pro process where you go through the readiness review diagnostic and then there's a period in between that. And then you would be either be accredited or if you're already accredited, you go through the reaccreditation process. And if you need more information on that, you can just contact us because they only gave me 15 minutes to talk. <laughs> okay, so engage with Cognia. There are many opportunities, like I mentioned earlier. And one of the things is, of course, you can learn more, you can become a member. And if you are a member, you can also volunteer to serve on our teams. So, you know, I like to say you can send your information and we encourage you to visit our Cognia website to view the latest news and events, including workshops and conferences. The source, uh, Cognia's digital magazine, it's also a valuable resource focused on education, thought leadership, as well as to engage your colleagues and school improvement experts around the world 
especially now as we continue to navigate our new norm, you know, with COVID and everything. So Cognio offers free resources, including webinars, panels, and more. We also offer some that are a cost, but you know, we can talk about that later. So if you're interested and you've been listening and you think that you want to be a member or that you're already a member, or you just want some additional information or support, I'll share all of the contact information at the end. And please feel free to reach out to the Cognia team. You can reach out to me and we will support you however we can. And um, I ask that you take advantage of all the resources that are available from Cognia. So with that, I hope that I've saved, been uh, kept to my time. Here is a barcode. I'd like you to just to take out your phones, you know, open up your camera, scan, scan the barcode, and it's just a quick, survey, all you need to do is put your name, your email, if you have any questions uh, or any comments. And if you don't wanna put your name or email, we won't be able to contact you. So please share your name and information, anything that you would like to be contacted about or any comments that you have, we would be glad to hear from you. I will also just put this information in the chat for you and let me see if I can just copy it and put it in the chat for you all. And of course, Scalara will also send you the video. So please stay connected through all of our social media channels and connect with our website. And I really um, appreciate being here with all of you. And I wish there was more time so that we could actually interact. I see that there are a lot of questions. If there's time, I will answer some of them. But if there's not, please just feel free to send me an email and we will definitely get back to you. So thank you. And with that, I will ask my colleagues to take over while I put the information in the chat. So here's everything thank in the chat. Thank you so chat. much, Dr. And I'm gonna stop sharing so you thank have you. the screen. <laughs> Thank you so much for an uh, amazing session, very knowledgeable for all of us indeed. And um, uh, I hope um, you have some time to stay with us and we'll share a lot of questions actually coming in now from the, uh, from the audience, but it will be at the very end of the session. So, no problem. I will uh, before going to Mrs. Rosha, thank you so much. Uh, before going to Mrs. Rosha, we'll, we'll love to get some feedback from the audience. So please, um, you'll see in front of you now, a poll. Uh, we love to get your feedback on it. So just let us know if your school is accredited or, and um, we'll, we'll also share the results with you to know more about the status of all our schools here in Egypt, but also in the MENA region and all the countries that are joining us today. So we'll give just like uh, 30 seconds or something for people to answer and then we'll proceed um, to share the results and then give it to Mrs. Rasha to talk about uh, her amazing school. And uh, now people are answering. Wow. Wow, there are a lot of people seeking accreditation. You need to contact us. <laughs> <laughs> Asha will tell you all about it. Was <laughs> well, amazing. Yeah, exactly. Percent almost. So it's it's almost equally uh, distributed. So yeah, was fifty four percent whom are accredited so far, and forty four percent are seeking accreditation. Maybe okay, I'm renewing. Um, we can get renewed. Ah, okay. We didn't think of adding the run. Now let's end the poll. Okay, so here are the results as you see them with me. So it's almost 53% um, of the schools are already accredited, but there is a big number of schools that is not accredited and are seeking it. So as Dr. Teresa said, please get in and uh, we'd have to help you in this. And I don't want to take more time. So please, Mrs. Rasha, go ahead and start uh, your amazing question. Thank you. Okay. Um... Before I start, I would like to express my gratitude uh, to Scolera, of course, for giving me the chance to be with you today. 
Uh, such webinars are excellent chances to exchange experiences. And moreover, they gave me a chance to, to be with Ms. Atwa, my forever mentor and coach. <laughs> uh, and listening to her always fascinates me. I can listen to her for ages. <laughs> uh, she's an addition to, to everyone. She's a very, very supportive uh, person. Uh, okay, having said this, uh, let me brief you about myself and the school I represent. I'm Rasha Musa. Um, I have um, about 25 years, around 25 years of experience in the educational field, uh, in different educational systems, and I served in uh, different teams. And currently I am the principal of the Son of Glory International School. Uh, Son of Glory is a seven-year-old school that got, that got accredited for accreditation two years ago and got fully accredited this year with an IEQ of 322.5. Is it allowed to share this information, Ms. Atwa? You already did, so what can I do? <laughs> well, it's a source of pride for me and for all uh, Glorians, you know? <laughs> right, right. And this is above the range, okay? <laughs> Okay, uh, can I say the range? Is no. it allowed? <laughs> I, I didn't, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> okay, yeah, don't share that. Don't? No, no. Okay, but it's above the range. Let me just But you did great, that. yes. Uh, yes. Uh, so, um, and we were very satisfied. Uh, I went through a, a lot of accreditation process, whether as a school member or uh, on a team, as a team member. And, um, why? Why do schools need accreditation? A frequently asked uh, uh, asked question. Why do we school? Uh, why do school needs accreditation? If we cross out the notion that it's a requirement by the Supreme Council of Universities for our students, for our grads to join college, we will find that it, we still need accreditation. Why? Because accreditation is a rigorous self uh, evaluation for our system. How, how, how is it a rigorous self-evaluation? It simply creates a, a set of standards. And when you meet these standards, then you have a good school and a rigorous system. And we as educators all seek this. So accreditation in itself is an asset, it's a benefit. It's not, it's a challenge, but the team, let me, let me tell you, the team is always on your side. The team is there to help, not to judge. And this is something I, all, I used to tell my staff. Khafushi Gamab get the accreditation, muta. The accreditation, haga, had khalikum, darut had didu. No at the daf, no at the power. Wahum ma mish gayin ala shan, yahumu alikum, like huma fanan itin gay. يساعد ويبقى on your side فدي حاجة لازم تطمنكم أي حد داخل على خطوة الأكريتيشن دي لازم يبقى عارف إن الناس دي معاه مش ضده خالص <تصفيق> back back to son of glory uh, accreditation experience إحنا in son of glory uh, we were lucky to have scholera with us from the very beginning why uh, because uh, Scolera helped us in, in many ways. The accreditation process seems to be a complicated one for Yanni. For those undergoing uh, a process for the first time, it seems, uh, at first sight, it seems a complicated one. Three domains and um, uh, 30 uh, standards and all standards, they have key concepts and then you are going uh, uh, to be uh, examined, or yeah, they are going, not you, Yanni, the concept of the domains are going to be examined uh, from five uh, elements in the Humma engagement, how are all stakeholders engaged, uh, implementation, how is this domain implemented in your school, results, do you have data, do you have data for this, and sustainability, do you have data over time, and of course, embeddedness is this domain ingrained in your culture. At first sight, Kida, it seems, wow, it seems a complicated process. And to, and to make matters worse, it's online, not as we used to on site. 
But really, believe me, it's too good. Really, it is too good. With the help of the team and with the good tools and with good training, you can do it. You can get the job done. The tool that was very beneficial and that helped us greatly was Scolera. Really, I'm not saying this because, yeah, of course I'm saying this because it's a Scolera <laughs> webinar, but even behind their back, this is settled and this is their right. Uh, Scolera helped us from the very beginning. Scolera was, يعني, Anna, uh, يعني, I used to tell my, the team, the, the review, the engagement review team, I have a magic wand. Scolera to me is a magic wand. بجد هو عصا سحرية كده. Why? Simply because you can track everything, every action that takes place in your school from the system. We have parents' accounts. We have teachers' accounts. We have admin accounts. So every action is tracked and traced. And everything can be uh, supervised. We know the content the teachers give. We know the attendance we can track attendance, whether students attend attendance or teachers attendance. We can uh, track uh, the content, as I said, the assignment, the assessment, everything. Teacher have all this done and all this is auto graded. So this is, يعني, this is a bliss, this is heaven, okay? And parents are also involved. How are they involved? They, uh, through the parents account, because we have parents accounts, students accounts, admin accounts, teachers accounts, okay? So parents, every session, every session can know what their child is doing, whether he attended or she attended or not, whether he is late or not, whether he submitted the assignment he was supposed to or not, everything, parents can track. So all this helped, all this helped in the accreditation process and all this helped me as a school in general. This is one thing. Another is, um, Scolera provided us with massive data. And I will leave this to uh, Mr. Karim, uh, the IT head. He will go through uh, the system and because he knows it better and he can elaborate more and he's going to share with you these reports and this analysis. But having all these analysis and these data help us to cover the results and sustainability key standard which, in which most schools struggle. In Egypt, we have this problem of documentation. We, we don't document our work very well. Yeah, this is true. Scolera documents everything. It documents grades, it doc documents uh, attendance, it documents uh, teachers' interaction, it documents everything. So I had my data analysis committee, because we had a data analysis committee in our school. So they had tons and tons of data in which they could use, okay? And this helped us, as I told you, in the results on sustainability, uh, to show that we use data and that we have data over time and we're going to continue using them over time. And I can, uh, I believe that Isatwa agrees with me here that really schools struggle with the results and sustainability. So it helped us a lot. It helped us a lot cover this uh, point. Um, the system itself is very adaptive. Uh, the, the team, the Scolera team are very cooperative. And I will give you uh, a proof to this. Uh, when we first uh, launched our online classes, we met some problems, um, behavioral ones, behavioral ones. Uh, Scolera took the action of integrating with Zoom, okay? And this, is, this gave us more control over our online classes, okay? So we were able to provide an educational, uh, educational service an online educational service that to a great extent matched the on-site educational system. Our students lacked being at school, okay? But we never had, we, we, I'm going to say we never had, but the complaints regarding the academic work and the academic progress, really they were diminished, okay? So all this was done by the help of a good LMS. If you have an LMS, even if it's not Scolera, Excuse me, Dr. Khadiga here. Use it. Use it and 
But if you have scolera, it's better, of course. <laughs> I believe in scolera, we're scolera to, to the bones, because as I, as I said, they are very cooperative and they are very understanding uh, to, to our needs. Um, and they have, they are visionary. They have a role map that covers and even more caters for all our needs and even more. Okay, so um, good luck, good luck with your accreditation process. Uh, and um, okay, I will stop here. I hope I, I did not prolong, and I will leave it back to Mr. Karim, who is uh, our scholera man. <laughs> Thank, thank you, you Sasha. <laughs> thank you, uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Rasha, very, very much. Uh, dear Mrs. Treza, uh, Dr. Khadija, Mr. Wael, welcome to all. Uh, it's my honor being with you today and uh, uh, introducing our success with the Scolera course. Working with the Scolera throughout the past six academic years and still more to come, inshallah, about this delay. It has been a fruitful cooperation between our institution Okay, Son of Glory International School and Scolera. Since we have been working hard with Scolera from day one of signing the contract, ongoing discussions between our school and Scolera have always resulted in better performance for both parts. Okay, the integration between technology and the digital learning has been an option anymore. Okay, it become an essential key lever for educational process enhancing the 20th century skills needed by students, right? Scolera helped, Scolera helped us adding this piece of the puzzle to complete the full picture needed to improve our success, especially in data analysis, okay? I want to stress the data analysis with Scolera, because it was one of the tools, a very, very important tool. I use it already in accreditation time, okay? Needless to mention, the Scolera was always has flexible with technic, technical, as a technical support, as technical, technical uh, software is very, very easy, very interface, very, very easy for students, for parents, for teachers, for all the stakeholders. It's very, very easy to use, okay? As I, I, I'm talking about the technical, it's a very, very supportive system, okay? At uh, Son of Glory International School has signed with Scolera since 2015. It has always been up to our expectation. Because uh, and, um, okay, uh, it has been fallen up to our expectation. When the pandemic starts, COVID-19 and the as a global pandemic, okay. Son of Glory staff was able to smoothly change, okay, the Scolera's online educational service in two days. Okay, يعني طبعا دي دي طبعا فكرة مهمة جدا جدا إن أنا أقدر إن أنا أحول ال ال onsite learning to e-learning. طبعا هيبقى الموضوع صعب جدا بس أنا لما كان معايا كان معايا Scolera لأن فعلا the virtual class as a feature already موجودة عندي على the system already موجودة من من فترة كبيرة جدا فأنا لما the transition hustle can very, very smoothly. Tamam? Hustle in two days. Escolera was of a great help to us, especially at the time of the pandemic and the accreditation time. And we have the accreditation time, and we have the virtual time. We have the pandemic, and we have already the e-learning time. So we have already the team engagement review team. The team was with us already at the coronavirus and COVID and all that. فبالتالي كان هو فعلا من ضمن التولز فعلا اللي ساعدتني في الموضوع دوت. تمام؟ اسكوليرا اوفرز ا جريت اناليسيس تولز اند كان جنريت يوسفول اند بينيفيشال ريبورتس ودي بقى البوينت المهمه جدا اللي احنا هنتكلم عليها فعلا. ذا سيستم لوجز فانكشن تراكس ايفريثينج الاونج تو مونيتنج اند ريفايزنج اند بريفيوز اكشنز اني تايم انا بقدر اتراك على السيستم اني اكشن وبقدر اعمل ريفايز لاي حاجه موجوده على السيستم سواء بيرنتس او ستودنتس Teachers track any action they have on the system. But that, of course, be support the school and the institution and the. And I can be able to track all the data and control all the data that is present in the school. Of course, very, very smoothly and very, very easy for all stakeholders. Okay. 
هنتكلم بقى في البوينت المهمه او الكونسبت الاساسي بتاع الويبينار النهارده اللي هو از فور ذا اكريتيشن تايم. سان اوف جلوري داتا اناليسيس كوميتي ديبندنت ان تو تولز فور اكستراكتنج ريزلتس ويتش ار سكولارا نمبر 1 نمبر 2 كان ان دبليو اي اي الماب تيست اوكي فانا اصبر كان عندي تو uh, تولز uh, ان انا كنت اقدر ان انا اكولكت uh, الريزلتس او الاناليسيز بتاعتي من السكولارا طبعا اذا طبعا ريبورت سكورد او الاتندنس او الهوم وركس والاساينمنت بلس طبعا الماب تيست اوكي السكولارا فاسيليتيتد ذا داتا اناليسيز بروسيس از ات هيلبت اس ان كومبيرينج ذا ستودنت بروجرس فروم ا كورتر تو انذر اند امونج سبجكت يعني هو كان اوريدي بيديني ان انا اقدر ان انا اكومبير اوكي واعمل اناليسيز بين quarter and another and the subject and the another okay واعرف ال strengths point فين وال weakness point فين من خلال السيستم ان انا اقدر من ال skills اللي موجوده في الجريد بوك اقدر ان انا اكومبير اقدر اكومبير ال assignments for each subject في subject ثانيه سواء ال assignments بتاعتي فده كان مهم جدا جدا في الاناليسيز بتاعتي ان انا اقدر اوصل لل weakness point وال strengths point بالنسبه ل each student موجود في المدرسه نقدر نحدد عنها ليها برضه بروفيشنال ديفلوبمنت نيدز يا مستر كريم اكيد اكيد البروفيشنال ديفلوبمنت طبعا تيم طبعا كان احنا عاملين طبعا شغل عالي جدا 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 وكان شغل بروفيشنال جدا جدا في اثناء الاكريديتيشن. All of this served as a great evidence for the three main accreditation domains which are leadership, learning and the resources which therefore helped a lot in providing results and sensitivity بالنسبه لنا كلنا. طب uh, let me just uh, share some uh, of uh, of uh, of data okay uh, some of simple uh, بسيط جدا جدا uh, بالنسبه لل, للاناليسز اللي حصلت بالنسبه لنا خالص okay you can see uh, you can see my screen now okay uh, this uh, some of analysis data through scolera or scolera providing us uh, this data okay you can see here data analysis for teacher engagement You can see from Masan from grade one to grade six. You can see here assignments, quizzes, contents, lesson plan, posters, messages, everything for each grade. You're right? Here you can see data analysis for teacher engagement for grade seven or twelve. I am I'm talking about the whole school. Okay, you can see your whole school. Okay, you can track everything. You can track everything. I'm sorry. Okay. Here, you can track also. You can see him here. It should be delay activity. Okay. And other and attract the activity without the HODs. Other attract the students on the system. I mean, is they with harak with they the login staff with harak is they on the system. Okay. I can see control or track a teacher delay activity. Other and then I set up the duration. تمام اسيت اب اعمل سيت اب عايز اعرف الفتره من من كذا لكذا كان الاكتيفيتي على السيستم بالنسبه للتيتشر بالنسبه للستودنت وكان اهم حاجه برضو عندي بالنسبه لي ان انا اقدر اتراك البيرنتس البيرنتس بالنسبه لي الاكتيفيتيز بتاعتهم مهمه جدا جدا عشان اقدر اشوف الفيدباك بتاع البيرنتس على السيستم بالنسبه لي عامل ازاي وهم ازاي انفولفد معايا في السيستم زي ما حضراتكم شايفين الشارت اللي قدامنا بتبين لي الاكتيفيتيز اللي ماشيه ازاي على السيستم بالنسبه للستودنتس تيتشرز Uh, HODs, uh, parents, everything. Here you can see also statistics for the number of users using the school through eight weeks. Okay. You can see the chart, you know what? You can see all the users on the system. Okay. Here I will, يعني, I will share with you uh, another report. The, the, the report already, uh, Scolera providing us, Gibardu, in an other Zamotaharatu, in another, a compare. تمام ده 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 شكل بسيط من الريبورت بالنسبه للطالب لطالب معين عندي في المدرسه اوكي بيبين بيبين الستودنت جريد ان سبجكت وهنا انا مقسمها ستودنت افريج بير كاتيجوري ان ذا اول سبجكت يعني انا بقدر ان انا اكومبير زي ما قلنا السبجكت واكومبير الكاتيجوريز ذات نفسها او السكيل بتوين بقى الاساينمنتس الكويزز البروجكت الاتندنس الكورتر اكزام طبعا زي ما انا أو طبعا طبعا الموضوع دوت الانجيجمنت ريفيو تيم واز امبريس يعني فيري فيري امبريس فور اول ذيس داتا اوكي مور اوفر 
Escolera play a very important role for students, teacher, and parents before and after the pandemic. So Escolera, son of glory, was able to follow and attract both the students and teacher performance. Okay? The system is able. Di nota mohema gidden gidden gidden. It's a very, very important point. The system is able to record everything related to the students throughout the whole year, like their attendance, homework, classwork, projects, and we even depend on it for the assessment, online courses, and the quarter exams as well. إحنا اعتمدنا عليه جدا 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 في المرحلة إن إحنا كان ال the students طبعا ما كانوش on site كان online. فاحنا اضطرينا ان احنا نعمل الامتحانات بتاعتنا والكوتر اكزامز اونلاين والاونلاين اكزامز بقت اوتو جريدد على السيستم فده ساعدني جدا 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 حضراتكم تخيلوا كميه الاناليسز اللي طالعه كميه السبورت اللي في السيستم عامله ازاي اوتو جريدد اوريدي بيبقى الكويز بيترابل بالجريد بوك بيطلع لي اناليسز بيخش في كالكليشن الموضوع فيري فيري سمبل وفعلا سهل على التيشرز حاجه حاجات كتير جدا 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 احنا فعلا كنا محتاجينها وفعلا السكوليرا كان موجود في الفتره دي وفعلا it's very 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 supportive system okay uh, طبعا not, uh, not to mention السكوليرا was very adaptive and understanding to staff needs and the media integration with zoom cloud meetings for a better online learning experience to uh, طبعا to conclude i'm sorry طبعا ان انا اخذت وقت كبير to conclude it's fair to say the scolera covered most of our needs in the accreditation process as a valid and reliable resource. Escolera has always been there for us, and we still expect more. طبعا, طبعا أنا منتظر المزيد والمزيد. Okay. في نقطة مهمة جدا أحب أختم بها كلامي فعلا. There is roadmap caters for all needs and even more. بجد الناس ديت عندها roadmaps في كمية requirements مهمة جدا جدا بتوصل لهم. بيعملوا بها roadmaps. بيعملوا لها deadline. بيلتزموا بال deadline. في ريكويرمنتس احنا بنطلبها كتيره جدا السكول بتطلبها بينفذوها اوكي okay. ففعلا بجد ثانك يو سكوليرا بجد ثانك يو ويش يو مور سكسس ثانك يو ثانك يو سو ماتش مستر كريم اند مسز رشا يعني اي دونت ثينك اي كان اد اني ثينج افتر وات يو سيد سو اي ويل نوت اد اني ثينج اتس ذس از مور ذان يو نو اي جست تيك ا كويك فيدباك اجين فروم ذا اودينس تو know what they think uh, what they are doing currently if they are getting their accreditation so please everyone uh, if you can answer this question if you are already seeking accreditation or you have done that before can you tell us but i'm uh, gathering the data is it manually or is it through a learning management system it doesn't have to be scholar of course but any learning management system are you using the help of tools well uh, everything is done in a manual way uh, just so that all of us understand more about the needs of schools Uh, بعد كده we will not talk more um, uh, انا uh, خلاص كده هخلص بقى الفارت دي وبعدين uh, Mr. Will is going to give you a quick overview of some of the most interesting reports اللي احنا بنتكلم عليها دي بس شويه going into details we're showing you what you can do بكل ال data اللي احنا بنتكلم عليها دي it's um, يعني مفيش اهم دلوقتي من data insights من decision making it's cool حتى يعني ان احنا بناخد ما ينفعش ناخد any more guesses uh, لا يعني هي دلوقتي هتبقى data driven Uh, decision making process for khalidan to the once the poll is is done it's almost again um, half and half so i'll end it now and let's see fa andina almost 55% gathering it through, through learning management system which is really great i think that's a, that's a very good percentage yani and ahna ykun andina al adad da bistakhdam al system al baqiyin li bi'amluha manually yani taban i would urge you definitely to find a, a way to to gather it using systems because it's a lot of effort a lot of time wasted from your school and from your team so definitely we are in the um, age of technology and um, technology is done just to help us not really it's not uh, it's not the the end itself but it's not it's a means to an end so let's let's try to use it more uh, mr rail please um, try to give us a quick get an overview on the uh, on the reports we have and then we'll open it to the questions uh, from the audience Thank you. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Good evening, everybody. Uh, I think that uh, truly, I mean, we're honored to have uh, Dr. Teresa and Mr. Rasha and Mr. Kareem with us, uh, and all of you, taban, our, all our uh, attendees uh, with us. Uh, and I'm, I'm trying, I will try to make it short and sweet. Uh, by any, let me start by... Uh, Move into the camera, please, because it's off. Well, I'm, the, it's and I'm going to share my screen. I'm, I will start sharing oh, okay. my screen. For, 
not going to be for the camera. So this is just basically the, the, the uh, an idea of what kind of reports we generate uh, from uh, our system, Taban from Square. Taban, once the data is entered, uh, once the data is there, we can really do quite a lot with it. Uh, that one of the uh, one of the examples, for example, and we have been actually a school-wide subject analysis. But we have been actually a school-wide subject analysis. But we have been actually a school-wide subject different grades. Uh, how is the subject as a subject doing? How is the subject department? Let's say Arabic or English or French or German. How is that subject performing in the school um, in general as a whole? Uh, that's one part. Then we take it down from there to narrow down or funnel in. We start from one stage to the other. So we can go back and then after that we see the subject average in a specific year. I mean, here we talk about grade one subjects. The modes of grade one, all of them. الارت عامل ايه الانجليش عامل ايه الاي سي تي عامل ايه الماثيماتكس عامل ايه بالديتيلز بتاعتهم اوفر ذا فور كوارترز في الكوارتر الاولاني كان البرفورمانس عامل ازاي في الانجليش في الثاني بقى عامل ازاي في الثالث بقى عامل ازاي في الرابع عامل ازاي فانا ببتدي امسكها بدل ما كنت واخدها المدرسه ككل ببتدي اخدها ستارت تيكينج ات جريد باي جريد او يير باي يير ديبندنج اون ويذر اتس ان امريكان اور اور بريتش بنيجي بعد كده the other way بنا ببص for start comparing the performance of a certain subject here we're just taking art as an example how is art doing across the different years from grade one to grade nine how is art performing through these years بعد كده بنبتدي نخش على student engagement زي ما احنا سمعنا طبعا student engagement is very very important we have this analysis on three different levels the first of them is how do students engage or how do students interact with content, uh, or the, 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 uh, the uh, resources that are sent to them from teachers. Uh, how many of them actually, how many of the students have uh, downloaded or seen or viewed the content that's sent by the teachers? The same thing from uh, with assignments and quizzes as well. Uh, how much of these assignments did they answer? Did they respond to? Did they, uh, how many of them they were not assigned to? Because you can assign um, assignments to particular students, students that have special needs or they, they need a little bit more uh, from one assignment to the other. So we have this analysis as well in general. Uh, after that, we also look at the student performance related to how they're doing in each lesson. So we have the, the, the course plan, which breaks our curriculum into different lessons. Each lesson has its own different objectives. So for each of these lessons, how are the students performing in the assignments related to this lesson and the quizzes related to this lesson? So I can actually get an analysis down per lesson. Uh, how, how much did, 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 did the students comprehend or uh, acquire uh, from the, 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 the learning objectives that were intended or the standards that were intended for this lesson. Uh, we can also move down into quizzes and start analyzing the, the uh, student answers to questions. Uh, let's say this is just one question here as an example. And these were, it was a multiple choice question. So these were the four choices. How many of the students in the class uh, selected the first answer, how many selected the second answer, which is the correct one, that's why it's in green, how many selected the third, and so on. So you can even analyze the students' interaction, the students' responses to the questions within a quiz. Uh, another way, of course, is starting to uh, check or analyze the student performance in a subject over the four quarters. So you can see here where there's a list of the student names, classes that they come from, and then how did each student perform in, in quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, and quarter four? And next to each grade, there is an indicator whether the grade has risen or has gone down. Or if it's uh, stayed the same, it will be the blue arrow uh, pointing to the right. So here, this student in quarter one had 95, then it increased in quarter two, then it decreased again in quarter three, but once again, increased in quarter four, and so on. So this gives us an in-depth analysis uh, to this point. Uh, moving to this one, this is a student performance breakdown. Now, this is, uh, this is quite a comprehensive uh, report, actually. It shows the student performance over different subjects. Then it takes this, each of these subjects are breaking down into uh, marks or grades that are a result of quizzes. Others are a result of projects, result of uh, participation, all sorts of different categories, the, the KPIs that we set uh, for the students. Then we do that this, here. In, in this one, it's actually over the whole, uh, the different subjects. Then we take them each subject individually and analyze the student performance in each subject individually. So we can really narrow down to the strong and weak points uh, for that particular student. 
Uh, once, of course, the school has been with us for uh, quite some time, then we can start preparing analysis across different years. What was the performance of a student in 2019, 2020, when he was in grade four? And then how did that develop in 2021 when he's in grade five? Uh, and it can actually accumulate to more than just two years. It can go up to five years analysis, looking at the performance of the student over the different five years in the different subjects uh, all the way through. Now, how do we, uh, the last one, of course, this is a simple attendance report. Uh, it can be breaking down either on weeks or days, whether he is present or absent. Uh, even there's, there's also actually excused as well, which doesn't show up here and late, uh, but these apparently were not recorded uh, in this school. We've taken this school as, as a sample uh, right here. Now, how do we manage to do this? Uh, first of all, we made sure that we had the infrastructure, the correct infrastructure. So we have an independent reporting server that works only for reporting. Uh, the data sources, this reporting server is directly connected to our database. So it bypasses all the front end and everything, and it goes directly into the database where we can query and collect the data. And then uh, through the flexible design, we end up with the look that we want for uh, the report. This, of course, all of this together helps us to finally come up with customized reports. Not only the reports that we have prepared, a lot of these reports were basically uh, requested and, and asked for from schools. Um, and in fact, we do uh, quite a, a very wide range. These were just some samples of the reports we do, but there is a very wide range uh, that actually is tailor-made uh, for each individual school uh, to assess their performance and how they work. Uh, I hope I didn't took uh, too much of your time, and uh, I, I see there's quite a lot, uh, there, were, there were at least quite a lot of questions, so I'm uh, going to pass it back to you, Dr. Khadija, if you'd like to uh, start uh, going through the different questions and if we can answer these questions. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much. Already, yeah, Dr. Teresa is doing an amazing job answering a lot of questions since she started. <laughs> I'm so trying. <laughs> 20 of the questions have been answered already. <laughs> That's an amazing job. So I think um, very few are left for on uh, like talking about them. So Dr. Teresa, if you want to talk about the first one, for instance, because it's directly to you, the Ministry of Education one, it says the Ministry of Education in Egypt has declared that, that the Cognia seal on SAT or uh, the ACT will not be recognized unless you have advanced one. So to, what do you think? This is the question. Yes, well, we're actually aware of that. And I had I had mentioned that earlier in my presentation, I explained the whole history of uh, Cognia, but I'll, I'll do it again, no problem. Um, so while we have changed the name to Cognia for schools in Egypt, we are still using advanced ed until the Ministry of Education accepts all the paperwork and moves on to Cognia. So if you're in Egypt, do not worry. We will work with you um, and send you all your documents in the name of advanced ed. So what I'm gonna do is I, I, again, what I will do is put my information in the chat so I have fixed the survey so anyone can respond. Any questions you have, please just feel free to send them and I will answer you later. So mm -hmm. if there's any other questions for me, I'm ready. <laughs> yes, sure. There is, um, I think, two more for yourself, please. Okay. Uh, are, weekly quizzes, uh, are weekly quizzes considered as formative assessment? This is a question from uh, Ms. Sora. Well, it would really depend upon the type of quizzes that you have. <laughs> I mean, if they're really, some, some weekly quizzes can be formative assessment, but also some can definitely be summative. I've seen some quizzes there that are way out there. So it just depends upon the way you look at those quizzes. Amazing. And if you need more information on that, just please contact me and I'll be happy to explain. Thank you so much, Dr. Therese. So far, this is the these are the questions we have for yourself. Um, uh, I have a question. There are two questions for Mr. Barosha and Mr. Karim, please. So um, someone here is asking, we have a problem in persuading parents to use learning management systems as we've been using it for two years, but the parents are still using WhatsApp instead. So uh, when we track how many students view or download the content, it results in a very low percentage. Do your school face this problem and any suggestions how to help in solving it? This is a, a question for yourself. Who doesn't? Tell me, who doesn't? Yani, all schools face this problem, but you have to be consistent, okay? You have to be very consistent uh, uh, regarding this. Uh, and you have, in, in all the, the whole school has to, has to be on, on this side to, to do the same thing. If a teacher uses the LMS and another doesn't, this is the problem. 
okay? So you don't open this door. You have to be consistent throughout the whole year and with all your staff. By time, parents, we face this problem. By time, they will abide. Okay. Amazing, thank you. Thank you for this answer, Mrs. Rasha. So just for schools, um, try to, as Mrs. Rasha said, try to be consistent, but also I saw it myself with other schools and um, how they've been doing it. Just stop everything else. I mean, if they are insisting on contacting you on WhatsApp, just stop using WhatsApp as a school. We have a communication platform. We have an educational platform. Just talk to us through it and try to close any other channels and they will have to commit to what you uh, are suggesting uh, we are asking for them. And another question, please, um, Mrs. Rasha, it's, um, uh, okay. I think, sorry, sorry, it's for Dr. Teresa. So it's actually, do you give accreditation for professional development courses, Dr. Teresa? Do we give accreditation for, for professional, professional courses? Uh, okay, so I'm not quite sure what you mean by that. If they're a school and they offer professional development, I'm not sure. Uh, Mr. Yussi, if you are um, if you are able to give us more clarification to that question, we will be able to help it to help and answer that question. But um, yes, other than that, I think we answered almost all the questions here in the um, in the Q and A box. So if no one is asking any more questions, I'm just trying to make sure that anyone is not asking anything else before we close. But um, I really, really want to um, thank all our speakers today, starting by Dr. Teresa and uh, giving us the time and the opportunity to talk to you and also to have this inf insightful session. It's been very, very useful, even for myself. I mean, I didn't know it's going to be about learning and assessment and everything. It's not about accreditation only. So thank you so much for uh, giving us uh, this, uh, this opportunity. Also, Mrs. Rasha and Mr. Karim, again, as you said, um, it's been 60 long years together, so I don't know where any, uh, it's been uh, amazing years. Um, we love your school so much. We've been working with it, but not just the point. The point is, as you said, we've been taking it as our early adopters, and this is so much, I mean, this is very important for any company, and I have to be honest. We try with them everything. And so on. They've been trying everything with us, but they are very innovative and they help us try everything we want. Uh, and so on. So definitely one of the amazing schools I worked with. It's an honor to talk uh, to both of you. And uh, Mr. Karim and where we are preparing our new roadmap for the new year. Uh, it's full, it's already completed and we are adding it to it more and more. So if you have any suggestions for us, definitely Mr. Rasha and Mr. Karim and the audience, definitely send us. We love to hear from you because you are our direct customers. You are our stakeholders. And because we can be يعني, um, comparing to uh, other uh, companies, we can be comparing to the market even, but we don't like to be that. We like to be user-centric. Our users are من أول المدرسة لحد البارنت اللي في البيت اللي زي ما مصر رشا قالت عايز يتابع أداء ابنه وعايز يشوف كل حاجة عنه يعني instantly حضر الحصة ولا ما حضرش عمل إيه جاب درجة إيه عمل behavior note and so on فكل الحاجات دي is very important for us uh, again thank you so much for the audience uh, على, الـ على, الـ على الحضور and we promise you إن إحنا عندنا um, a lot of surprises coming for next uh, next webinars as well. Inshallah, we would love Dr. Teresa and Mr. Rasha to keep uh, يعني, uh, updating us about Son of Glory uh, school and about Cognia. We we'll definitely love you, love to have you more in another webinar, Dr. Teresa and Mr. Rasha. So we'll keep you um, updated, all the audience. Thank you so much. And I'll let it to the speakers if anyone wants to say any message before leaving. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Yes, thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you in, for inviting me. And mm -hmm. I look forward to seeing what happens with the rest of the schools who are accredited. And if they use Scalera, good luck to them. <laughs> thank, you. thank you so much. Thank you. Have a wonderful day, everyone. You too. Thanks. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thanks. Enjoy your day. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you so much.